Hello and welcome to my very first vlog. I'm Anesu Sagonda and I'm a feisty, indomitable and fun-loving 40-something year old of mixed parentage, South African and Zimbabwean, and I reside in London, living my best life as an entrepreneur. I manage a luxury lifestyle management business and, I offer fairly, and we offer a fairly comprehensive selection of top-end products and services to clients who are typically time poor or lack the resources or expertise to be able to adequately fulfill the request. Over the last couple of years, we've seen a huge spike in inquiries from the new money elite, typically from the African continent, wanting to be educated. They're tired of being part of the herd mentality where they're buying into brands because that's what's expected of you once you have a certain level of disposable income, or buying into brands that have been glorified by the entertainment industry or social media. But now they would like to make better and informed purchasing decisions. A few years ago, I started my working career in investment banking. And what I noticed straight away was that with the high ranking managing directors on the telephone number salaries or the clients who are ultra high net worth individuals, they were very comfortable and very confident around money. And you also found that they had had money in their families for many generations. But most of all, their wealth touched every aspect of their lives. And it wasn't just how they looked or how they dressed, but it was the house, how it was decorated, the food they ate, the wine they drank, their hobbies, where they went on holiday, how they went on holiday and so forth. But when I went to the African continent and, and I mixed with clients and colleagues, the look and feel of the wealth was very different. And that's just down to exposure and also how long they'd had access to the money for. Fast forward to, to, to today with all the inquiries we receive, it's as a result of people being exposed. They're traveling, they're seeing things online, um, social media, they're mixing with, with people from all sorts of backgrounds. And they're seeing how different their lifestyles are, for example, in Europe versus in Africa. And they'd like to bridge that gap. And that's where we come into it. And on the back of this, we directly started a private YouTube channel where we create content exclusively for our clients covering all sectors of luxury. But what we found was that the information was applicable to anybody with an interest for the finer things and wasn't just discerning to those with wealth. And that's where I have now formed this channel, So Anesu, that is targeted at anybody with an interest for the finer things. I would like it to very much be an educational, entertaining and lifestyle portal where we talk about so many different elements across life and across luxury. The core areas will be fashion and largely looking at it from a corporate perspective, diet and fitness from an over 40 perspective as well, uh, what kind of diets and diet you need to adapt to. And then I'll also look at home decor because People sometimes, more so on the African continent, I've noticed, they tend to go for the bigger furnishings, but they don't zone in and put as much effort into the soft furnishings, which really make a difference and, ha and help to actually balance out the property a lot better. And I'll also look at travel as I get a lot of inquiries, typically for people who say something as simple as, I'm tired of going to Dubai, it's where every African goes. I would like to go to other places, but I don't even know how to navigate and how I would start to put together a schedule in an area that I'm not familiar with or have friends who've been there. And then lastly, I'd like to bring in a lifestyle element. YouTube is saturated with conversations from 18 to 30 year olds talking about the dynamics of what happened or if I knew this in my 20s or my 30s. And the issues they are going through are very different to me. I've gone through a lot of their issues and they have no bearing on my current life now. I would like to have conversations about topics such as uh, getting married and having children later in life, um, navigating the whole dating scene um, as an older person with people who are either divorced, have been divorced a couple of times, or widowed. And I'd like to talk to people who are like-minded, going through similar situations, and just find out how are people navigating that and other situations that we face at this particular age. This channel has been a long time in the making, and I'm excited I finally launched, and I can't wait for the conversations to start. Subscribe and let's begin. Till next time, thank you for watching and see you soon.